All right, guys, sorry we missed you last week, but me and Eli are back with the top 10 beginner corals. Today at number seven, we are gonna do another combination. It's an LPS, it's a pretty easy LPS to do. It is the bubble coral, and a very similar coral to that, we'll call it its cousin, would be the fox coral. Here's Eli to get a little more in depth with you. Thank you for the intro, Ernie. And as he just mentioned, number seven on our list is going to be the bubble coral and its cousin, the fox. These are a really cool LPS coral. They generally tend not to be so difficult. They're one that likes kind of lower light, lower flow. They definitely tend to be kind of a, a sand bed creature. You can kind of throw the plug on the sand bed. And as long as it's not getting dumped with sand, they tend to do just fine toward the bottom. With the bubble corals themselves, during the daytime, you see these nice little bubble-shaped tentacles on each polyp, which is where they get their name. But at nighttime, they kind of change in structure. And they do often get very long sweeper tentacles, and they have quite a potent sting. So it is important to leave these corals a little bit of space around them, uh, between them and other corals, so they don't end up stinging their neighbors. As with the fox coral, these generally don't tend to sting at all so you don't have to be as picky about placement with these species. As with the bubble corals, you usually end up seeing a couple different growth forms in the hobby, one being what we would call a branching type, where heads actually fork kind of like they would with euphilia corals to where you get individual heads. So there's also more of a walling growth form to where they grow just kind of massive and one singular polyp with a bunch of different mouths, which are not so easy to cut, but if you end up with the branching variety, they are generally cuttable. Bubbles are available in a wide variety of color forms. Sometimes they're kind of bluish white in color. A lot of times you'll see green colors and you'll even run across kind of yellow, orange, and pink. So they add kind of a, a really cool color to the tank if you find a nice one. They also tend to get like splatter colors as you might see where they kind of have a variety of colors in the same coral. Uh, and they're just kind of a really neat one. They generally add a nice amount of flow to the aquarium and just a different shape to look at. And they're not so easy to kill, so they make quite a good beginner coral. Join us next time when we uncover what is number six on our top 10 beginner corals list. And as always, thank you for watching.